everyone. It's social distancing story time with El Poo. You know how sometimes you just want to be a kid again? No stresses, no worries. Well, I want this all the time, not just nowadays when things are crazy. Sometimes I just want someone to tuck me into bed and smooth my hair and tell me a nice bedtime story. But not the stories that we read when we're grown up about women abducted by serial killers or guys with sex dungeons or gods of small things. No, sometimes, all the time. I want a story with no conflict and nothing but happiness and rainbows. So I put it out to Facebook that this is what I wanted and my friend Megan delivered. This is Megan. She's smart. She's a doctor. Here's the story that Megan wrote for me to calm me the hell down. I hope you like it. I read it every night before bed. The Tales of the Very Best Friends, Fuzzy and Quacky by Megan Saunders. A quacky duck and a fuzzy yellow chick were best friends. They lived in the same neighborhood. In fact, they lived right next door to one another so that every morning they could have coffee together in the chick's sunny breakfast nook. Sometimes, on warm mornings, they took their coffee outside and sat in the chick's patio chairs and warmed their feet in the sun while they planned their day. After a nice sponge bath in her kitchen sink, the chick would skip back to her friends where she would climb into the basket on the duck's bike and they would take the quiet side streets down the street with all the shops. They'd poke around in the yarn shop looking for nice leftover bits of pretty cross-stitching thread, and then they'd go to the grocery store to buy their lentils and almond milk. Often, as if by chance, although it wasn't at all, they'd run into their good friend, the piglet, who would oink with joy at the first sight of his friends. This happened pretty much every day. The piglet would regale his friends with esoteric bits of knowledge about marmalade, of which he was quite fond, and the duck and chick listened happily while in their minds they were thinking ahead to the nice lunch they would have together. They generally took turns making lunch. The duck excelled at watercress sandwiches with a little bit of vegan mayonnaise. The chick made a killer gluten and dairy-free quiche, and the piglet was a dab hand at vegan rancheros. If their friend, the kitten, had a day off from his job at the kitten kindergarten, he would join the trio and bring a thermos of tea. Well, that's all I've got for now. If you want more, we're just going to have to badger Megan to writing some more, pouring more treacle down our throats. But admit it, this made you feel better, didn't it?